Right, in this question we're asked to complete this table and plot the graph for this, y equals four over x. Now this is what's known as a reciprocal graph. Now it's called a reciprocal graph because the x bit, all right, the unknown is the denominator of a fraction. So it's four divided by x, that's what this means. So if I look at this, all right, there are some nasty ones that they've given us. There's another nasty one here, all right, um, but I'm gonna do what I usually do and look at the easy ones first. So. 4 divided by 1, I know straight away, is 4. 4 divided by 2 is another easy one, is 2. 4 divided by 4 is 1. And that, they're the easy ones out the way. Now, you'll have a calculator for this, so don't worry too much. Now, if you've forgotten your calculator, which hopefully you haven't, 4 divided by a half is actually not too bad either, because how many fours, uh, sorry, how many halves go into 4, I should say? So if I go half, 1, one and a half, two, except I count up, I actually end up with eight halves in four. If, if, you want, if you want to prove it to yourself, half one, one and a half, two, two and a half, three, three and a half, four, eight. Okay, so there we go. Now, 2.5 isn't very nice. I'd use my calculator for that. Use my calculator and I end up with 1.6. Now, I've done it to one decimal place because everything else is done to one decimal place, but that will be on your calculator anyway. Now, I'm going to plot these points, all right? Now, they haven't been that nice to me with the scale here, but that's not a problem because I know that half is halfway between zero and one. So, half eight there, one four there. Notice I'm plotting with crosses again. We always plot with crosses. 2.7 is there. In an exam, you'll get graph paper once more, so two two. There we go, it looks like it's not a straight line again, is it? So 2.5 and 1.6 is about there-ish. Quite difficult for me to do and see on this 1.3, uh, 3.5, 1.1, which is about there, and 4.1, which is about there. Now, again, whereas before, when they weren't a straight line, we did it freehand, so we're gonna do it freehand again, and we've got there you go, all right? So this I know because, and you'll get to know eventually, this is the right shape for a reciprocal graph. They all sort of look like that. So that's something to look out for. Um, make sure you plot carefully with a cross and join up with a freehand line, not using your ruler. So let's have a look at this one. So solve x plus 2x equals 12. So what do you think you do first? Okay, well, I want x on its own. So I would put x equals 12 minus 2x. Okay, so a lot of the time we want to get x by itself, but what we want to do first is get all of these x's together. So can you see anything we can do with this? Get all these together in one place. Oh, okay, it's 3x, isn't it? Yeah, so absolutely. 3x equals 12. Oh, and so x equals 4. Brilliant, spot on, well done.